Here we have example number two. Uh, so, you know, this is a trickier one because we're often not familiar with parallelograms. And so a parallelogram has three vertices, which, which are, I should say, 5, 6, 9, 8, and 11, 5. Find the coordinates of the fourth vertex by using the fact that the diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other. So bisect means that they go through each other's middle. All right, bisect means they pass through the midpoint, which should give us a clue, right? This word is midpoint. So I think it's helpful to draw a diagram because otherwise, I mean, how will you know, right? Um, and so, you know, your parallelogram is going to look something like this. Who knows? I'm just going to illustrate. We've got this parallelogram. All right, so two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of equal sides. And we've got something like this. So uh, let's have a think about this, exactly how it's going to work. So 11, 5 is less than 9. So something, I mean, again, we need to make sure that we get the pairs correct. So 9, 8 must be over here. And then this one's 5, 6. So both the x coordinate is smaller and the y coordinate is smaller. So it has to be this one. And then 11, 5, the x coordinate's bigger while the y coordinate's smaller than both. You see? y coordinate's smaller than 6, so it must be on the lower side. It's smaller than the 8, where it's bigger than 5, but it's also bigger than 9. So it must be that the last corner is that. Now, that might take you a bit longer to figure out, but... You know, it's okay. Sometimes they hopefully will give you A, B, C. And so if they do, and I should have actually, but if this is A, B, and C, then the convention is that D is the last one. And so you go around the circle. So A and C are opposite corners. And B and D are opposite corners. All right, dash, dash, the same. Opposite corners. So D is the one we're trying to find, X, Y. Now, the clue that we're told, I mean, there's a few methods you could say. I mean, you know, there's all kinds of ways you could do this probably. But the way that they're asked is using the fact that the diagonals bisect each other. So what we're saying is diagonals bisect each other which means they pass through their midpoints. So that's equal to that, and that is equal to that. All right? Let me just make that solid so we see that a bit easier. That is equal to that, and this half is equal to this half. So if we get this point M somehow, then I can use M with the midpoint formula to find another endpoint. It's actually, although the question seems complicated, it's kind of only using the midpoint formula. So using the fact that we go A, B, C, D around A and then B and then C and then D. So make sure we get the order correct. So we're going to find the midpoint. And the points we're going to use to find the midpoint are A and C. Because if they bisect each other, both diagonals go through M. Both diagonals have M as their midpoint. Which means I can easily find it. So M, we have, I'm going to use the midpoint formula. So 5 plus 11 on 2. That's the x coordinate of A plus the x coordinate of C and 6 plus 5. The y coordinates added together on 2. The midpoint, we just find the averages. That's 16 on 2, which is 8, and 11 on 2, which is 5.5. Okay, so we've got our point M. So M, 8, 5.5. Let me just underline that so we know. Now, 
Then we're saying the following. Okay, so the midpoint, so then midpoint of BD is also M. So what we say is the average of the X coordinates of D and B is eight. So that's what we're saying. So basically using the midpoint formula again, if I just call the coordinates of D, X, Y, what we get, I'm gonna add a little bit of space here. What we get is to say, okay, uh, nine plus X on two, if I average out the x coordinates, 9 plus x, x I don't know yet, I'm going to find it. That's equal to 8, because I know that m is the midpoint. Similarly, 8 plus y divided by 2 is equal to 5.5. Has to be, because m is its midpoint. So if I then now sort of solve these two expressions, I would, what's the answer for x? Well, 9 plus something divided by 2 equals 8. Well, you multiply by 2. x equals 7. All right? And then this one's the same. 8 plus y, you multiply by 2. y is equal to 3. So therefore, d has coordinates. d73 is the fourth vertex. I've used the fact that parallelograms have diagonals that bisect each other, have the same midpoint, and pass through that to then work out using the midpoint formula what D is. Work it through, think it through, ask questions if you need to. Okay, that's the end of the second example.